Hello, Bren here from Lismore Music. Have you ever wondered? Nah. Have you ever wished that you could just uh, that you could just take your favourite bits out of various solos that you've done and put them into a sort of a collage together, something like this. I'm going to show you a really cool way how to do that in traction waveform. Let's do this. So yesterday I recorded some guitar parts, but the audio didn't go out as I was recording. But anyway, the main thing is, let's take it back to the start. That was the last take I took yesterday. Um, so let's just take this this track here. When we press the little plus there, it gives us our various takes so we can listen back to them. And you can see the waveform change as I change the take. So let's see here. Mm. So that one's sufficiently different. It'd be nice to check that one out and uh, to see if we can put some of that with some of the other one just so that you can see the major differences that you can make. So let's see. That's show takes. So we're on take one. I really can't see those very well. One, two, three, four, five. Oh yeah, I stopped to try and take five. So there's four takes there, right? And as we press each of these, it gives us, in the green box, it gives us that take as the main take. So, and if we wanted to change any of the bits from any of the, any of the takes, then we can just add bits like this. Let's just add some random stuff. So there's one. Uh, and then that's all that's in the take. And let's add something from here. a bit more and um, put something in from from here this is gonna sound awful probably Ooh, I wouldn't want to use that note anyway so let's change that note let's see what that is let's go from here That's all right. Let's see where we're going next. Let's just use this whole track here as. So let's try change that a little bit. It's okay, but let's change, let's try some other bits for here. Like there. So. Oh, yeah, that's right. Oh, that does a weird thing there. I 
sent from it. I know what that, that's kind of cool. Let's just see what this does though. jumping around octaves. That's something that you might not think of at the time of soloing, but you can come up with some really good ideas this way. Okay, so let's try something. See what this does here. Zoom in a bit here. Uh, different, different shortcuts and different software. So that will do it there. Need a bit more. So you got to cut out that that one there. Not fond of that one. Let's move it to here. Those ones. Let the next note jump in. So it's That's a bit strange. Isn't it? I'd like that note, but not there probably. I'd probably move that to some. I'd probably use that note. I think I'd bring it again in that solo a bit later on. So I'll just try something different here. And I gotta see there's, there's a tail up here. So that's gonna cause, I think we gotta get rid of that somehow. I don't want to come in at the end of a note because that can cause, that can just sound weird. Oh, yeah, there's a bit of a note jumping in there. Let's move that slightly more. How about this? How's the sound? Anyway, that's the general idea. And you can see there. There's a kind of a composite track forming. So I got this. Mm. Like something different at the start there. Let's put some, just do a mixture of a couple of tracks again. Take that bit. Do this bit here. I have no idea what these sound like. I think we wanted that one. Maybe. Mm. that start. So I'm gonna get rid of that start. And now this should sound nice. Let's go. Mm. Thank you. 
stuff there, but uh, you get the idea here of what you can do. I would um, mess with that a bit more to get it right, I think. It's kind of annoying me now. Maybe I will do it. I'll save it. Because sometimes when you do lots and lots of little cuts, waveform crashes, it really doesn't It doesn't like this. It uh, seems to take a, a bit of processing or something. That's certainly what happened to me yesterday when I was doing another one. Let's see, there's some bits I really liked. Now let's get to the bits we don't like. Chop it like that. No, I don't like it. A little funny tick thing goes on there, so let's just use a quiet spit. Like, what if we did this? I don't like it. Boom. What about this note? Use this uh, silence down here instead. I'll be fine. That's weird. That's kind of cutting out. Um, let's see what do we want to do here? Would it sound good if we do that? No. <laughs> that's, my, that's my answer. Nope. It does not sound nice. How do we put? We just do half and half. Ah, that works. Okay. Uh, get a little bit more of this one. There's a little bit of green left down there. Mm, that's coming in halfway through. See that? That's all right though. It's like a little harmonic-y thing. Context. I don't know if I'd do it again there. I think let's try something new here. How's that do? Oh, yeah, nice. Note for a look. Hmm. Not that no. It's a bit too uh, Thelonious Monk for the track, I think. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That doesn't 
doesn't work. This amuses me so much. Quite like that one. Is it? It's kind of a weird, mistakey kind of a note. It sort of works here. Yeah, it's got a bit of spice to it. <laughs> no, no way. What's this bit? Though? Pause is our best friend right here. Yeah, space between the branches. That's what Michael Russell always used to say. Famous tin whistle player from the County Clare. different little cuts there so that's what I mean it's a total collage of four different takes and the fact that I did them all kind of differently meant that ach, it was a bit of a, a chess game trying to match up one thing with another anyway it's great it's really fun to do so the next step in that besides putting on the effects the reverb and all that stuff would be to render it somehow we can either flatten it or render it into a different track so let's just highlight it there and see we've got some options down here we can render clip, or we can flatten the clip. If we hit render, it gives us all these options here. And to do formats and stereo, sample rate, sample size, pass through plugins, render automatically, insert into this track, insert into the next track. So, uh, you know, let's insert into this track. See now. It's just basically taken all of those and recorded it again into a new file. It should play as before, so let's just have a quick listen. <laughs> and now that's just my guitar straight into the mixer. So there's no there's no amp involved in that or anything like that. I'd prefer to use an amp, obviously, but I didn't have one handy. Man, I just wanted to get this thing done. Yeah, so rendering a clip like that, it's kind of handy to, to keep it there. You can keep it as a backup of the way that you've done things in that edit. Uh, I'd either pull it off to the side or pull it down into a different, into a new empty track. That's always a good idea. Right now, I'm not going to keep that one because I don't care. Because it's not really a, this isn't actually a track that I'm working on in any serious way. This is just me messing around right now. So. The other thing is you can hit that plus again. You can hide the takes. Um, and hiding, th hiding the takes is something that's useful. Or you can unpack the whole lot of them to new tracks, which is really handy too. So if we hide the takes, for example, this is what happens. And then it just looks like a normal track. Let's uh, unpack to new tracks and show you what that looks like. And then you've got all of these. This is our composite one. So we show it like that, it makes it less confusing. So that, that's the composite one, in track three. And then 
each of those tracks. One, two, three, four, five. There's down here, one, two, three, four, five. And then you can do whatever you like with those things. You, you can edit the different tracks in different ways and, you, and then you can recombine them. And in fact, you can choose any tracks from any instruments and you can make a composite track from those. And you can do what I've just done here with one guitar and you can add different things together like that. Be very creative, you know. It's very interesting what you can do. You see how powerful that is as a tool and how easy it is in waveform to do that. It's fantastic. So there you go, there's another video on traction waveform. In my next video we're going to be looking at Garen's Vital Synth Patches. And you're going to love it. Vital is a fantastic synth. And Garen, another YouTuber, has put out some free patches for that synth. They're really useful. There's a great snare drum sound. And there's a great kick drum. There's uh, all kinds of things. So that's all I got. And I'll see you soon.